Welcome back to NFL Primetime. Cadillac Williams got the starting nod, as you've seen big time for Tampa Bay, but his running mate at Auburn, Ronnie Brown, his first touchdown. He scores for Miami, and Miami leads Carolina. Second quarter, the doubles up 14-10. Gus Farratt. How about Chris Chambers? Time has come today. Originally ruled down at the one, but yet. And Coach Saban challenges this call, claiming that Chambers never got touched. Take another look at it right here. You can see Chris Gamble never put a hand on him. Coach is going to win his challenge. How about that? And you know what I like? Is that it gave us the time to really look at the one hand to catch a little closer. The heck with the challenge. So, the touchdown, it's 21 to 10. Ronnie Brown. Quick through the hole, Tom. It's going to be 58 yards. Yeah, that combination of speed, power, hitting the hole. We see it from Cadillac Williams. We see it from Ronnie Brown. Both of them had that exact same explosion. Plus, he started in foul ground and ended up in right field. It was a <laughs> heck of a run. Mari's field goal makes it 24-17. Daylight come, and you got to tell home. You got to go to Steve Smith. What a day he had. 11 for 170 and three touchdowns. That one from DeLome gets him in business. And so now we're tied at 24 all. They're like, uh oh, you gotta go home. It's Lance Shelters. I know nothing. <laughs> Sergeant Shelters takes it back to the 25. DeLome didn't get enough on the pass, and Shelters read it the veteran. Yeah, wide out running the slant. Safety coming from inside out. Quarterback never sees him. Pretty easy pick. And that sets up with seven seconds to go. 32 yard field goal for Lindo Mare. Whoa. The <laughs> Dolphins are two and one. They've upset Carolina. They've already upset Denver at home, Tom. And the Dolphins beat the Panthers 27-24. Remember, they won only four games all of last year. And Ronnie Brown, his first 100-yard game, 132 yards, despite the heroics of Smith. Big win, Miami and, and, and defense. Yes, you have to admire the mentality of the Miami Dolphins and what Nick Saban has been able to do with that ball club in terms of turning them around and making them forget last year, play this year.